Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're meeting the giant schnauzer. Woof! <laughs> he looks like a cuddly toy, he's cute, he's fluffy and he's hypoallergenic and non-malting. But he's there to trick your burglars, Stop as this dog me, means business. In fact, he's one of the most popular protection and guard dogs in the world. Meet the cuddly toy with teeth, the giant schnauzer. When you picture a guard dog or a fully trained protection dog, one tends to think of a German Shepherd or a Malinois, perhaps a Cane Corso or a Doberman. They look the business and will stop a mugger or burglar in their tracks simply from their appearance alone. However, if you hate dog fur, are allergic to dogs and want something that your children won't be scared of, then we have just the dog for you the giant schnauzer. He's fuzzy, he's fun, he doesn't leave fur everywhere and your kids will adore him just like a golden retriever. However, just one thing this dog has that a golden retriever doesn't have is guarding ability. The giant schnauzer is one of the world's most successful protection dogs. In fact, you could suggest that he's more lethal than all of the above breeds as he'll trick that burglar into entering your garden as he looks like a fluffy, overgrown poodle. A giant, useless lap dog. However, this fuzzy giant toy has a few things going for him. One which is teeth. And he knows how to use them. Remember that rabbit from Monty Python's Holy Grail? Well, our schnauzers are a little like this. He also has trainability and intelligence, which means protection dog training companies can turn these dogs around fast and get them fully trained and out to families quickly. So today we are meeting two fabulous guard and protection dog organizations, Extremist Dog Training and Trident Elite Canine, both known for their incredible dogs, all turned out to the <laughs> highest standards. Some elite dogs reaching in excess of 50,000 pounds to buy. My first stop was Trident Elite Canine, who had several fully trained protection schnauzers for me to meet. Hello, hi. hi. How are you? Hi, I'm Annika. Good, I'm Ashley from Trident Elite Protection Dogs. Okay, and what have we got here today? We have Zeus here, a male giant schnauzer who's currently going through family protection training. Right, fantastic. And these are the hypoallergenic guard yep. dogs. Hypoallergenic, yeah, good for people with any allergies uh, and they don't shed and you can leave them long coat or you can shave them to be short coat. Right, fantastic. So you're going to tell me everything today about the giant schnauzer, yep. what it's like to have one exactly. and also some of the amazing protection yep. things that we're they can We're going to show do. you everything that you want to see uh, so you can get a real good feel for the breed. All right, fabulous. Cool. Let's go then. Let's Come go. On, I was to meet several types of schnauzers, some from more rigid working lines and some from more of a relaxed show line. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> 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 He's gonna <hump> leg <laughs> So this is Athena. Um, she's one of the puppy giant schnauzers that we've got. She's only about six, seven months old now. She's the exact same breeding as what Zeus is. Uh, the same parents, they did a repeat breeding. So we decided <laughs> to take one of the females from the litter. Oh, she's so small and cute and fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that is the good thing about this breed because yeah. they, don't they don't look, look like, like protection no, dogs, do all. they? So look. she's just started a training really. So um, we've started just like some little pad work for the protection and just going through her obedience. Really. And how long does it take before they become uh, fully uh, qualified usually? Until she's about two years old. About really. two years yeah. old. The giant schnauzer was developed in the 17th century in Germany. It is the largest of the three breeds of schnauzer and thought to be made up from some combination of the Black Great Dane, the German Shepherd, 
The Rottweiler, Doberman, Boxer, Bouvier de Flandre, the Thuringian Shepherd, and the Standard Schnauzer. The giant Schnauzer was originally bred as a multi-purpose farm dog for guarding property and driving animals to market. By the turn of the 20th century, the giant Schnauzer was being used as a watchdog at factories, breweries, butcheries, and stockyards throughout Bavaria. It was unknown outside Bavaria until it was used as a military dog in World War I and World War II. In modern times, the giant Schnauzer is used as a police dog, is trained for obedience, dog agility, guarding, protection work, herding, search and rescue, and Schutzhund. We headed up on the hill to take a look at some of their abilities. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you some protection. Uh, we're going to show you him kicking off, biting the decoy. Luke's going to decoy, uh, get the sleeve, take some pressure, uh, and show you that the breed has got the workability. Hold him. Okay, right, so I'm here with Ashley from Trident Protection Dogs and... Max. Max, <laughs> and here we have probably the fuzziest, squishiest, cuddliest <laughs> protection dog there is. Some of these are the best protection dogs, aren't they, around? Yep, they are. And why are they so good? It was quite a new breed to us only two years ago. We got Zeus six months old. His prey drive was that of a, of a herder. He was calm and chilled, relaxed like a German Shepherd. Um, so I thought straight away he's got really good traits uh, of what we would look for in a protection dog. Now he's, he's just over two years old. He keeps up with the likes of your herder, your Dobermans, your uh, German Shepherds. And these do really well with families because they love being with people. Yeah, they do, yeah, yeah. They love being in the family house. They love being around the family environment. Um, you know, they're great with the children. They're great with other dogs. Uh, and, and then their protection is, is second to none. So today we've seen um, schnauzers with very different characters, yep. okay? So we've had some that come across more as proper working dogs to me. They look like they're from working lines. They yep. want to go out and they want to do stuff, less focused on people. Yep. And then there's others that look like they'd be really good in a family environment because they're really into people. Yep. Do you get different lines because you need to supply different types of, of professions we mainly specialize in the family protection side uh, but we have different levels that we work to so some people only require more of a deterrent rather than an actual physical dog that will nose the bite and knows the bark and hold and the outs and things like that more of a physical deterrent for them is more than enough so a dog barking at the gates and and showing a presence uh, which is kind of more like your max um, and your athena the puppy that we've seen earlier Obi and Max are the two that are from kind of more of a show line. Um, they still have really good obedience and really good protection. But then whereas you've got Zeus, who's a different kettle of fish, he's, he's more, you know, he's, he's a lot more energetic. Uh, there's a lot more anger and aggression in his protection work. So this is Obi. Uh, we're going to do some hard sleeve work with him now. Uh, we're going to get him biting Luke in the hard sleeve, doing some hold and barks. Uh, his command is Foran, uh, which means we send him in. He barks in front of the decoy until the decoy poses as a threat and then Obi will bite. <laughs> You travel the world supplying we do. 
these incredible dogs to clients everywhere yeah. and like what is the average price of a dog that you would be selling so our dogs start from twenty-five thousand, uh, and they go up to anything in the range of sixty thousand. So, that's mega bucks yeah, so, so the ones at the steeper end of that they're like yeah. really good yeah so right? that's that's what we'd class as kind of our level three dog we kind of go level one to level three level one's kind of our standard family protection dog uh, which is more than enough for most people level two you get a higher level of obedience high level of protection um, and then your level three is kind of all singing or dance and everything's off lead it's a lot more fancier uh, yeah. the dog's been through a lot more scenario training things like that yeah. um, but you know th these dogs stay with us for two two and a half years before they're ready to go to the family uh, if people reserve them early they're involved in the whole process they come down walk the dog yeah. see the dog compared to say a malinois or a german shepherd yeah do these dogs take longer to train um it depends on the line so for instance max and obi yes because uh, of the more show line in them but the working line for me like zeus and athena um i'd say no i'd say they're kind of on the par the same as like a german shepherd how often do the the family need to retrain with you so, so we offer an aftercare package so everyone who buys a dog gets an aftercare package included so depending on the level depends how many times we come out and visit you uh, free of charge uh, and just do follow-up training um typically anything between two and six sessions are included mm. and then we say to the client you know we can fly out or, or if it's in the uk we can travel down and, and spend a few hours just topping yeah. up the training once every six months once every year i'm going to play devil's advocate here because yeah. i get these comments all the time on my channel yeah. people think that they can always get one over on a protection dog yeah. because it it's such careful scenarios that we present when we're actually filming that it's be very very easy to get one yeah. over no no I would the dogs say go through pressure from from young from a puppy when we're going on the bike roll or the bike pad we start introducing them to like rattle bottles loud noises uh, then we start doing gunfire yeah. things like that you've been in the um, armed forces and stuff yeah, have great. you seen a dog actually bite somebody properly yeah i've seen it for real yeah and what does that person do are they, they literally they rendered fall, helpless yeah fall to yeah, the ground so when you leave comments saying I can get away from a dog like that, yeah, it's no. not gonna no, the, happen the, the very easily. The dog's far more quicker than a human. The bite force is gonna take you off your feet. You're not gonna know what to do. You're gonna be in a state of shock. Okay, so we've got Obi again now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send him on a long send. He comes in nice and high, uh, flies through the decoy. So you'll see the decoy swing him around uh, and then Luke will drive him. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Watch him. Stop him, stop him Obi. These dogs make great pets, they don't do. they? Yeah, they've got that off switch, whereas like your Dutch herders, your Belgian Malinois tend to be a little bit more drivey in the house and kind of always searching for something to do. I feel like these kind of got that German Shepherd trait where they're happy, that they're very content, they're happy to go and lie in the corner by the fire, lie by the telly. You see Zeus that, who's very <laughs> drivey and things like that. When he's actually in the house, he's really settled. He's, he's calm, he's chilled. You know, he's been around my children, he's been around other trainers' children, and he's happy to take food off a two-year-old and and yeah. relax in the house and calm down. What work though does the family have to put into it? Because he's a big yeah. dog and, yeah. he, and they obviously need a lot of exercise. With these dogs, with your Doberman, your German Shepherds, a good walk a day and some bonding time and some, some integration with the ball and things like that is, is more than enough for them. As long as you keep up with the dog and yeah. some hand feeding sessions, some bonding, obedience, things like yeah. that. How healthy are these dogs? Do you know what their life expectancy is? Uh, so life expectancy is between 12 and 15 That's years. That's really good. good. Yeah. And any dog anyone buys off us, uh, they're fully hip and elbow x-rayed, uh, so they're all health tested. How heavy did you say they were? Uh, so anything around about the 40 kg mark is, is a good yeah. size giant schnauzer. Okay. It's not aloof, it's not stubborn, no, it's no, no. very, yeah. very good, very trainable, very please. reactive. Yeah. How about with other dogs? All of ours are really, really social with other dogs. Um, we train our dogs to be very dog neutral. We don't want them to be too engrossed with other dogs because, again, if we're in a park and someone runs to rob your bag and the dog's 100 metres away having the time of its life with 10 other dogs, yeah, so it it's better, want to, 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 better be, to be around to be me. Yeah. My second stop was to visit a schnauzer in training with the award-winning Dogs for Wildlife team at Extremus, where we had previously filmed some unbelievable Malinois being perfected as anti-poaching dogs in Africa. 
Well, I'm here with Jackie from Dogs for Wildlife and we have got a beautiful giant schnauzer here. What's she called? She's called Sasha. She's called Sasha and look, she's absolute sausage and looks like butter wouldn't melt. <laughs> Don't be fooled. <laughs> Don't be fooled. So, of course, she looks beautiful and cuddly and calm and everything. But Jackie, how much energy has a dog like she, this got? She has got quite a lot of energy. They are not the type of dog for the faint hearted. They need to be worked. They need to two and a half hours a day at least of input to keep them motivated and to stop them getting bored because a bored dog will find its own motivation and it might not be something you want her to do. She uh, loves working, she loves humans, she loves engaging. So it's really important to think hard before you take on a breed like this. Right, and you're going to demonstrate some stuff for us today. Yes, Shane, we'll do some of the stuff Dogs like these are used, aren't they, in protection yes. work and guard work. Um, so we're going to demonstrate a few little things today so you can see the All workability the, yeah, of these, this breed. And she's desperate to go. So I know, she wants to go and so work now. So let's do it then. Come let's on then. go. So giant schnauzers are also used for family protection dogs. They're also used by a lot of police forces for guarding duties. And um, at the moment we are just doing and assessing Sasha to see whether she has the capabilities to fulfill that role. Um, today we're just gonna try some sleeve work with her. In conclusion, the giant schnauzer to me came in very different characters. There was the keen to work one, the cute and cuddly one, the cheeky randy one, and the calm one. So there didn't seem to be a set set of rules on what to expect, just that the working lines are far more wired and need far more stimulation than the show lines. They were friendly, yet suspicious of strangers and had a real playful craziness about them. Not too large, these dogs are easily Labrador size, so great for a family and of course, easy to wash and groom. A fun dog that your kids will love and will make a hidden protection dog in disguise, if that's what you're after and not what your burglar is. What's your web website if people so want to find website out more? Is, uh, www .co uh, also on website is www.tridentk9.co.uk. We're also on Instagram as well, Trident Elite K9. Yes, and then people can just drop you a line. Yeah, just drop us a message. If you go onto the website, there's a, a WhatsApp button and you can speak directly to one of the trainers straight away. We'll be yeah. able to help you. Well, amazing. So. It's been fabulous meeting your dogs and today. You? I've really, really enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner and tune in every week. We'll be bringing you some more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now and bye from this cuddly toy. <laughs> He's lovely, I love him. I think he likes me too. <laughs> bye. <laughs>